Slow jigging is one of my favorite techniques for catching basically just about anything. Don't upgrade. <laughs> oh my God, there's so many fish there, it's not even funny. Are you on? Any species will eat a slow jig. Pearl perch, snapper, nanny guy, emperor, you name it, they'll eat it. So what I want to do is show you a couple of little things that I do just to make slow jigging that much more effective. So the reel I use is the Kavala 5NS. <laughs> so the Kavala 5NS oh has a lever so drag system. So this thing is super Are strong and believe me, I put it through some pain. So a few of the main things that I really like about this reel, it's 107 centimeters per crank of the handle. So you really can get some purchase on those fish and get them back out of the reef. So when I'm slow jigging, I like to use the lightest jig that I can for the depth of water I'm in. But things like wind and current, sort of, they dictate more the weight of the jig than the depth of the water. So stronger the current, or if you've got wind and current opposite, it's really hard to go a light jig. So my main size is a 80 up to around 150. So what I like to do, stand around the reef till I find the exact spot where the fish are holding up. So they're not necessarily spread out across the reef. Sometimes they are. If you've got just messy bottom, they might be the whole way through it, so it's not as bad. But if you've got isolated fish sitting on the front edge of a small rock or a small bommie, you really need to just focus and find that exact position where those fish are. Once I find where they are, I like to just drift across it once or twice just to see the angle that the boat wants to drift with the wind or with the current if you've got no wind at all. By setting up those lines on your GPS then makes it easy to be able to come back and set just at the top of where you know those fish are and you already know the angle of your drift lines and that means that the next drift that you do when you put your lure in the water, you'll be right onto those fish. But the most important thing that I can't stress enough is keeping your line vertical. When you're drifting, unless you run a 200 something green jig, you will not keep that line vertical without the assistance of the boat. I normally drive past my waypoint and spin the boat around with the, so that the nose is facing the direction that I know the drift is gonna be. Then I'll send my lure down a little bit and I'll watch the angle of that line. Once that line starts drifting back, which means we're going faster than it, you just knock the boat into reverse. Then you watch that, once that line straightens back up, put it back into neutral. And you really need to do this the entire time you're fishing. Might seem painful, but the more vertical that that line is, the better, oh, took me on the drop. <laughs> the better action that you get out of that lure. So by keeping that vertical, you don't get, your, your lure won't flutter very well if your line is on an angle. If you don't have your line going straight up and down, straight to your lure, you're really ruining the action or any chance of getting the best action out of your jig. By having that line straight up and down, when you work that jig, the line is not gonna affect the way that that lure sits or swims. If you have the line on a big angle and lots of drag, you also have pressure or as I'm suggesting, a drag against that lure, which is gonna hold it up. It won't flutter as naturally. So the action itself for slow jigging, super, super simple, which is why I, among many other people, love this technique. Make sure your jig is all the way onto the bottom. Make sure that line is straight up and down and just simply half turn of the reel. That rod tip bounces. And that's all you need to do for the action on the jig. No working the jig, no pumping and winding, none of that stuff. Slow pitch jigging is all about the rod and just imparting that action with the half cranks of the reel. Bounces that rod tip, which makes that lure flutter. By keeping your line straight up and down with your motor, that lure is gonna flutter perfect every time. When you hook a fish, similar thing, no need to be pumping and whining and carrying on. Just stick that rod under your armpit and just crank away. 
That's why the Kavala is so good. A meter a turn, 11 kilos of drag. Unless it's huge, I'm dragging it up. So next time you're giving slow jigging a try, just think about those little things. Keep that line straight up and down. Pay attention to the depth that it's in and set those drifts up. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs>